this video will review the different types of searching you can do in your RE Applications 4.0 database. We will talk about the different types of searches, starts with versus it contains, and a universal search. Within your database, you have the ability to search from different places within the system. You can search from the widgets right on your dashboard when you first log in. Right from this widget, I can search for contacts by first name, last name, or company name. If you need to search by more or different criteria than what's on the widget, you do have the ability to select the little box, and it's going to open up into additional fields that you can search on. If while you're searching, you need to search on more or different criteria than what's in the widget, you can click on the Detailed button. That will open up a search form that will allow you to search by more criteria, including tenancy and ownership. If, while you're searching, you need to search by more or different criteria than what's on the widget, more or different criteria than what's on the detailed search, you have the advanced search. The advanced search allows you to build a search based on any criteria that you would like. So as I choose criteria, I hit add and it goes down below. You notice there's a little D for delete next to each one. If I click on the D, it just deletes out that criteria. The advanced search is where you have the ability to search on all the records created within a specific date range, or revised within a specific date range, or created by a specific person, or revised by a specific person. All of that can be done in the advanced search. If you learn how to use the advanced search in one portion of the system, instinctively you will know how to use it in the other portions as well. Here's the advanced search under properties, availabilities, and comps, and it's the exact same process regardless of where you're doing the search from. When you are searching for records in the system, contacts are what we call a starts with field, meaning you don't have to know the person's whole first name or their whole last name. If you type in the first couple letters of their first name and the first couple letters of their last name, it's going to bring up all of the records that start with the letters that you typed in. Once you find the record you're looking for, click on the name, and it's going to open up to a dashboard. First name and last name are a starts with field. Company name is a contains, meaning you don't have to know the whole company name. If you just type in some information as long as the information you type in is contained in the company, the beginning, the middle, or the end, it's going to return those records. Address is the exact same contains field. When you are searching for a record by an address, you don't have to know the exact address. If you don't know the street number, just type in the street name and as long as it contains that street name somewhere in the address, it's going to return that record. That goes for any record in the system that has an address. You do have the ability to search on that using the contains. So just type in the street name and it's going to bring up all the records that contain that street name somewhere in the address. The beginning, the middle, the end, it does not matter. Within the database, we also have a universal search in the top right corner. This allows you to search across the different modules within the system by whatever information you have. I did my search and it returned 25 results in five different categories. So what I typed in was contained in some availabilities, comps, contacts, finance deals, properties. You can see that it searched across the different modules within the system and returned the records that contained what I typed in there. 
If any of these are the one I'm looking for, I can click on it and it's going to open up that record to a dashboard. When you're searching in the database, less is more. Meaning, search with as little criteria as possible first. Based on the results you get, then narrow your search down. Give yourself every opportunity to find the records that you're looking for. For additional information, call the help desk 626-803-5145.